What's up, guys? Welcome to Summit Pediatrics. Come on in. What's up guys? My name is Dr. Trejo and we're here to talk about infant health. So I've been a pediatrician for over 10 years and this is my favorite, favorite thing to do. I really enjoy taking care of, of kids and helping families support their children's health. So pediatrics is the field of medicine that specifically takes care of children from birth to age 18. Pediatrics is important because kids are not small adults. Kids have their own specific uh, concerns and issues that don't really coincide with what uh, happens to an adult. So you really need to be focused and think about the child as a whole and not as a small adult. Vaccine hesitancy is a growing concern worldwide and it has real consequences for infant and child health. In Namibia, we're seeing similar patterns simply because parents are getting misinformation, they have fear of the side effects of vaccines, or they just don't have access to accurate health information. This hesitancy can lead to lower community immunity, which means that we're leaving the door open for preventable illnesses like measles, whooping cough, polio, hepatitis, these illnesses are very serious and life-threatening, especially in infants whose immune systems are still developing. The positive side is that many parents simply want to make informed choices about getting vaccines. They're not necessarily anti-vaccine. When we take the time to, have, to sit down and have honest conversations about vaccines, I found that parents are, feel a lot more comfortable with them. Moving forward in Namibia, we need more community engagement, consistent messaging from healthcare professionals, and access to trusted resources. When we work together, parents, doctors, and public health officials, we can ensure that we get trusted information to help protect our youngest from preventable illnesses. Vaccines are simply one of the best things we can do to keep kids healthy. They're simply a game changer. They help to prevent illnesses like measles, polio, hepatitis. I always say this to my parents, Vaccines are a victim of their own success because we don't see illnesses like we used to because of them. When a child gets vaccinated, it's not just about them. It's about keeping kids healthy in the community. Infants who can't get vaccinated for those diseases or children with other health issues. It really is a way that we can play a part to keep the whole community healthy. Vaccines are like giving your child a strong shield before the battle. It means fewer sick days, fewer hospital visits, and more time being a happy and healthy kid. So even though vaccines aren't fun in the moment, they're totally worth it. It helps us build a healthier community one child at a time. Early nutrition plays a huge role in the baby's overall health. It's one of the most important building blocks in the first few years of life. From the moment the baby is born, their body and brain are growing at an incredible pace. And to support all of that rapid growth, they need the right fuel. And that's where nutrition comes in. In the first six months, breast milk or formula provides all the essential nutrients, protein, fat, vitamins, that help to protect against illness. If a baby is breastfed, they also get immune support directly from the mother, which is amazing. And formula today is designed to be a great alternative when breastfeeding simply isn't possible. One important thing that I always mention to breastfeeding parents is vitamin D supplementation. While breast milk is fantastic, it usually doesn't provide enough vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential to support the immune system and to help build strong, healthy bones. So you really should start vitamin D supplementation early on during infancy. Once solids are introduced after six months, babies start needing other things like zinc and iron to support healthy brain development and physical growth and to support a stronger immune system. That's why we emphasize offering a variety of textures and flavors early on to build healthy habits so they can ensure that they're getting all the nutrients they need. 
Good nutrition in the early years helps babies' brains form strong connections, supports emotional regulation, and it lays the groundwork for a healthy relationship with food later in life. I always tell parents these early feeding decisions really matter. And the good news is you don't need to be perfect. Just being mindful and making informed choices goes a long way. And if you're ever unsure, just ask your doctor because that's what we're here for. So I really hope you enjoyed this discussion about infant health. Thank you to NMC for this opportunity to talk to you about this important topic. If you want to learn more information about health topics, please subscribe.